morning. morning. It, it is not the start of our week that we had hoped for. Far or from it. Far, far from it, yep. We, um, let me show you. We left you last week at a little campsite by the river. We left yesterday just to get some food, some dog food, some supplies, some LPG. As we were on the road coming back, this huge logging lorry came screaming around the corner at about 500 miles an hour and launched a brick into our windscreen. And that is what's happened. It is a massive, there's my hand. It's like the size of my hand. It's completely smashed through the windscreen and put all glass on the dashboard. So that is a replacement. Like it's so bad, this is really soft and powdery inside. But yeah, pretty bad. We expected this and anticipated this happening in Alaska and almost definitely on the Dalton Highway where there's a lot of, lot of trucks going, big industrial trucks, a lot of loose gravel and it just kicks up stones. But we didn't expect it to happen so this soon, soon <laughs> and this no. far south. So it's got to get it sorted. Yeah. Bearing in mind, we're now in Northern British Columbia. There are no major cities anywhere near us, but there are a few townships and given the amount of windshield repair places, I'm guessing this is pretty good business up here. But the nearest one to us is still about a two and a half hour drive away. So we drove about halfway there yesterday. We're parked up in this kind of, it's actually a visitor center overflow car park. It's just a bit of kind of scrubland basically. But very, had a really good night's sleep actually. And yeah, we're gonna be heading further up today, an hour and a half, it's like half seven now. We're gonna head there now and go to this windscreen repair place and see if they can get us a new windscreen sorted. The town that we're going to to hopefully get the windscreen replaced is called Dawson Creek and it's actually a major, major waypoint for us because it is mile zero of the Alaska Highway. We're going to take our time getting there, stop off on route, roll in, celebrate being at mile zero of the Alaska Highway and instead we are just hot footing it there because that is where the company is that's going to try and fix our windscreen. So it's not going to be our entrance into Dawson Creek that we had originally planned. Our only potential problem is, obviously we've got a European van. The company that we're gonna see in Dawson Creek is so helpful, but they couldn't find the part number, even with our VIN number, probably because it's a European van. They think that it should fit, in theory, that there shouldn't be any difference with the windscreen from a US Sprinter van, but they don't know without actually physically looking at the van. We're still not 100% sure that they're even gonna be able to replace the windscreen, which could be a massive potential problem for us. I guess the adventure starts here. Also need to thank David for reminding us to take this off. Oh, there we go. This is our little souvenir of our time in Turkey. It's the Turkish HGS toll tag. Don't wanna lose that. Here we go. Speedy glass. Speedy glass. Right, so when we spoke to the woman on the phone yesterday, she said to bring the van in person and her boss will come and have a look at it and he can see whether or not they can fix and replace the windshield. But he's not here today. So he's had to pop out onto an emergency job, but he said to her to take photos, send it over to him and he will let us know. So I found somewhere where we can park up now, take the dogs for a walk and wait and hopefully hear some good news. So we just pulled up to this little trailhead car park, just somewhere quiet that we can sit out the day, wait for the phone call. So yeah, I guess this is us for the next few hours. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's, that's no problem at all. Oh, good news guys. We spoke to the guys at Speedy Gloss, I think it is yesterday, and they are pretty much 95 to 99% sure it's gonna fit. Rang up Monday afternoon, said come down Tuesday morning, straight in, checked, took some photos, ordered it by, well, before midday on yesterday, and it's there waiting for us ready to fit. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Perfect, that's amazing. Top notch, Canada, top notch. It's good news, it fits, they measured it. It is gonna go in. So, so happy, which also means further down the line, if it happens again, it's easy to get replaced over here. Yeah. So, we've just got to wait a couple of hours for it to be fitted, wait for the phone call, and we can carry on with the journey. <laughs> when you give us a couple of hours in a quiet town, you can always count on us to find two things, coffee and a dog park. Oh, 
There it is, there's the old windshield. I could not recommend no. Speedy Glass in Dawson Creek enough. The one with that, so helpful, fitted within two hours. They went above and beyond to get us sorted, they, didn't they? They went above and beyond to get that sorted. They were absolutely fantastic and I'm so grateful for their help. Yeah, they were awesome. Now let's go and do what we actually came here to do. We're officially going to start the Alaska Highway from here. Oh, there's a little roundabout in Dawson Creek. This is it. Yeah, ready? Yeah, I think. There we go. Let's go. Mile zero. Bang. There we go. We are on it. On the Alaska Highway. On the Alaska Highway. I thought it was a moose. Oh, you were so... <laughs> I was so excited. That horse was huge. Honestly, through the trees, I thought it was a moose because it was that big. That was a big horse. Ah, oh, so close. Why didn't he just put fake antlers on? <laughs> So we've, we made a quick detour onto the old Alaska Highway to come and see this really beautiful old wooden bridge. You can't get across it anymore, but it's called the Kiskatinaw Bridge. It's part of the old Alaska Highway. Anyway, we can't really get to it because the road down there is really icy and it's on a slope. So it's a bit treacherous and we can't turn around down there. But instead of seeing the bridge, we stopped. She's, she's long gone now, but there was this female moose and she just like disappeared off into the trees and it was our first moose sighting. We haven't seen a moose yet. So <laughs> we thought it was a conspiracy. Okay, maybe she hadn't gone. <laughs> it's our first moose on the Alaska Highway, yes. baby. Excellent. Yes. Now I just need to see some bears. Oh yeah. And the safety of the van, please. Right, our first pit stop on the Alaska Highway. But the lake is still completely frozen, can you see? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, if you remember when we were in Baja, we had a cooking class with a guy called Ulysses and we got some of their honey champagne, which was absolutely amazing. It's like fermented honey made of like flowers from the Yucatan, which is on our route south. It was so, so good. And I think now is as good a time as any to open this. We made it to mile zero of the Alaska Highway. We're just off the Alaska Highway and we can celebrate seeing our first moose as well. Shall we open it? Yeah, go on. I've been wanting to drink this for so long. It's so good. We haven't actually got a proper bottle opener though, so we have to use... Oh yeah, we don't do it. Oh, um, you don't ask me to, don't you? Yeah, I'm not very good at doing this. And then now... Ta-da! Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs> Lakeside view. Happy birthday, River. Oh, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So it was Scout's birthday a couple of weeks ago, and today is our River Roo's third birthday. Who remembers when we got her when she was tiny, tiny puffy, and she completely turned our world upside down, didn't you, River? She did, the little whirlwind. You, she was a whirlwind. You still are. And <laughs> you were spoiled. Yes. Yeah, you spot. When we went into the pet shop the other week, she loved 
this one but I love it as well it's like look little scroll toys buried inside oh, a nice. log I think this is the coolest toy ever So we've brought out the Canada map and we're just looking at how far we still have to drive. So we're like around here and we've got to get up here through the Yukon and then all the way. That is Prudhoe Bay up here. We have got still so much to go. Let me just get up to speed on where we are and what's happened this past couple of days because it's just been a bit mad. This is where we left you roughly at the end of last week's video. We popped into Prince George to get some supplies and it was probably like around here that the lorry drove past us and broke the windscreen. So we ended up driving all the way here along the 97 to Dawson Creek right here on the border with Alberta and this is mile zero of the Alaska Highway. And now we're probably only just like around here maybe goal is to be up here by the end of the week but this is it the 97 this is the Alaska Highway and as you can see it's just one road that takes us up into the Yukon and then eventually into Alaska but it's such a difference compared to where we've been down in the US and Idaho and Utah and we've kind of had a choice of like what route we take like oh do we do this do we do these mountains but now it's pretty much just one road and it's really cool, isn't it? Yeah, there's a long way to go. One road north. Well, it's a very grey and snowy day on the Alaska Highway. There is nothing up here apart from like industry. Logging stations, logging lorries. The only other vehicles on the road are like trucks and lorries, aren't they? Yeah. Gas and oil stuff everywhere. It is such a different landscape to what we've been driving through the past few weeks and because it is so snowy we can't really see anything past the trees <laughs> and we have a little bit, would I say we're making good time? Yeah, making good yeah time. we're making fairly good time on this road so what we're thinking, tomorrow's meant to be kind of sunny so because we think we're missing out on some pretty epic views around here because of the snow cloud we might just pull over in a rest area, wait out this snowstorm that we're driving through and hopefully tomorrow the clouds will clear and we can have a pretty epic drive into Fort Nelson on the Alaska Highway. If you can't go to the campfire, bring the campfire to you. <laughs> Wow. I think the snowstorm found us again last night. Look at this. Wow. Well, as far as rest stops go, I think this is one of the most scenic we've been in, isn't it? Yeah. But this is what the clouds were hiding yesterday. So we're quite high in elevation here, aren't we? We're like a thousand meters. Thousand meters we are, yeah. And where we want to go today is like 400 meters. So I'm guessing we're going to be heading out of the snow. She says. <laughs> Optimistically. Optimistically, it's been chasing us. <laughs> I can't believe where we are. We're on the Alaska Highway. How the frick did we get here? <laughs> but seriously. about the Alaska Highway. It was built in 1942 after the attack on Pearl Harbor. The American government thought that a road like this would be like an integral part of repelling any Japanese invasion. It took them nine months to build it through some of the most inhospitable like wilderness in the world. It's like an amazing feat of engineering. So 
we have made it into Fort Nelson. This was our goal for the end of this week was to make it here. So we have arrived. It's just a little town. Last week I made a mistake and I said that Fort Nelson was mile zero of the Alaska Highway. It's not, obviously Dawson Creek, where we were at the beginning of this video, that's mile zero. But in my defense, I think I was reading about the building of the Alaska Highway and Fort Nelson was the original, like first mile zero before they built the highway south to Dawson Creek. That was where I was confused. So for those of you who corrected me, thank you. We're just gonna stock up on some food, getting some fuel, because there aren't a huge amount of fuel stations. And I'm um, yeah, trying to find somewhere to park up for the night. There is a lot less snow here, so we should be able to find somewhere, hopefully. this spot on the lake but I think it's a little bit too muddy like all of us and the dogs we're all gonna get shit high in mud here so I think we'll try and find somewhere else but before we do I want to show you something so freaking cool this is an ice road now one of the reasons I am so excited to not only drive up to Prudhoe Bay but to do the Dalton Highway is that when I was like, I don't know, 15, 16, I used to love watching Ice Road Truckers. One of my favorite shows at the time, loved it. We used to watch it every, like every Friday night or something. And they would drive across these ice roads like this. They'd drive up the Dalton Highway. You'd have to see them put the snow chains on. That's one of the reasons I'm so excited to go up the Dalton Highway. And yeah, and I, that's why I'm so excited to see a real life ice road. So basically when the ice is really, really frozen in the middle of winter, the trucks can just basically drive straight across and they don't have to go all the way around. But obviously now it's pretty much melt, it's definitely melting. You can see all the tire tracks going in. You can kind of see the tire marks on the lake. So freaking cool. That's on the bucket list, drive across an icy frozen lake. That was so cool though, can you see all the tire marks? Know, yeah, it looks really cool, doesn't it? It's 20 minutes, it's like up there. Oh, is that Beaver Lake? Yeah. I swear there's so many Beaver Lakes, Beaver Rivers. I know, yeah. Salmon River. No, it does say like shaded, but, but I've just been looking at it. Oh, there's no signal though. There's a picture of a black bear in one. Yeah, I know. That's oh, is that what you're like, Well, I'm pretty glad that that frozen lake didn't turn up because we have pulled up into this beautiful forest. It's just free recreation area, so we can just pull up, park up, picnic table, fire pit, nice level place to park. Let's show you where we are and how much further we have still to go. It's Dawson Creek, that's where we're parked. I can't even remember now, but we carried on the 97 and basically this is just going to be like this every week now because it's just one straight road. Let me come out here for you. Okay. So we probably stayed around here um, last night in the rest stop didn't we? Yep. And then this morning we have come all the way down into Fort Nelson. We are right up here. I think or maybe there. Okay near the border with the Northwest Territories which we're not actually going to be going into but Next week, things are gonna get really interesting and we are crossing into the Yukon, the legendary Yukon. 